Hello and welcome to the 2023 IPF World Equip Powerlifting Championships in Druskaninke, Lithuania. is a sport of three disciplines, squat, bench press, and deadlift. Each athlete has three attempts in each discipline and the biggest lifts in each form the powerlifting total. Biggest total wins. Seven kilo class, Kenya Montserrat hit a new world record of 227.5 kilos, taking the squat gold medal and the lead in the competition. Hold on to your seats because right now we've got a massive world record attempt. Montserrati from Ecuador looking for 227.5. I'm sure the world record was in the back of the head, but I think the plan was just to get as many kilos on the board here as we can to try and close that gap with Kimberly Johnson before getting to the deadlift. But a world record, 227 and a half. She has the gold medal in the squat already locked away. She's capable of it too. Come on. That was quick. Quick descent. That moved really fast. I think your, your 20, 228 was probably a good call to get that extra half a kilo. We're just, just waiting, waiting on the referees. <laughs> Two white lights. <laughs> it is a world record at 227.5 oh. and the gold medal in the squats. After squats, incoming world champion Kimberly Johnson jumped ahead with the biggest bench of the session. A nice looking 150 kilos. She did a big jump to 147 and a half, and she's opened up that predicted gap a little bit now. Monserrati's gonna have to work a little bit harder to peg her down in the deadlift now, and that's gonna be tough because Kimberly Johnson has a very good deadlift. So 150 on the bar. And we managed to get wall lifters with a bench press in. She's just such the professional. It's a, every single bench was exactly the same. Yeah, really. Same touch Quality point, same smoothness, same speed, everyone, and gets the 150 to finish on top. So she'll go away with the gold and medal in the bench press. Johnson had the biggest deadlift too, and 200 kilos sealed the deal for her second world championship win. Johnson now is the world champion. That's two years in a row. She won in Vidborg last year. Just an extra five kilos for her from her second attempt. This will be deadlift gold as well. You know what, and the great thing is, she totaled 545 in Vidborg last year, and she's now looking to total 555 with a 200. That's a fantastic result. She is the world champion. She set the standard right from the start today. It's moving. And it looks good. Hey. Probably wasn't her cleanest deadlift I've ever seen, but it was not too much trouble for her. And she takes home Kimberly the gold Johnson. medal. She's the world champion. I like the excitement and I like the teamwork of equipment. It's fun. You can't really like, you could do it alone, but like there's just so much more involved with the equipment and yeah. you really have to like master it and it makes the bench so much more fun. Yeah, and like pushing your limits a little bit, super cool. Yarishwaf Oleh, who's a legend in the IPF, 
17-time world champion and Hall of Famer, but at 49 years old, could he still take the Open World title one more time? He got off to a rocky start on squats. Yeah, I think half of Poland just arrived. He's an extremely popular lifter, and not just in Poland. Great to see the teams showing up for their lifter. He's in his last year of M1s, and he's still at the top of the game in the Opens. Wow. 17-time world champion. He has come second to Chell Backlund for the last three world championships, but Backlund is not here today. So could we see an 18th world title? That's one heck of a rap sheet, isn't it? 17 world titles. Looking for number 18 today. The world record in this class is 370, and it belongs to this man. Oh, that was a bit tougher than I would have expected for an opener. I think he made a bit of a technical error on the way up. He has. Now, he's drawn blue cards. I'm not sure that there was up and down movement. So, do you, oh, maybe there well, was. Well, that's a right tough there. one because the bar stalled, but it's hard to see whether it moved up and down. But he came back strong, building up a huge lead that could not be overcome and claiming his 18th world title. Here we go, we have the 18-time world champion, Jarosław Ole from Poland. That is just amazing. Not good enough to win, he wants the deadlift gold as well. well I think that's the first time I've actually seen him <laughs> look <laughs> like it was difficult. <laughs> And that puts him ahead on points as well. What an absolute legend. And you're right, he has gone to the top of the best lifter table. Absolutely incredible. What a time wow. to be alive. In the 105 kilo class, last year's world champion, Sergey Billy, was a strong favorite in class, and he was 47 and a half kilos ahead after bench. He rejoined the action on deadlift. Here's Sergey Billy for 340. He pulled 327 and a half last year to win. This is way over that. He's hard to read, isn't he? He really is. I mean, we know, as we know, he's consistent across all this, but he doesn't give anything away. We have our final opening deadlift here with Ian Bell. We we're hoping for a great showdown with Ian Bell and Sasha Stenderback. But Ian will have to put on a show on his own. 357 and a half on the bar. He's wearing one knee sleeve. That I was speaks of... Trying to look through the Bay uh, Tower competitor, see if I was right. Yes, he's wearing one knee sleeve. Here we go. What a lift. Absolutely brilliant. Absolutely smokes 357 and a half. So whatever's going on with his knee, he's sorted it out with the knee sleeve, and that oh, is clearly fast. <laughs> this is Sergey Billy, Ukraine, for 352 and a half. I think realistically, if he pulls this, then he cannot be caught. Yeah, this one will set the gap. Oh. Well, that was an unexpected oh, sight. Well. Here we go. Now, it's still a lot of work for Ian Bell to do. Yeah, if anyone He's can do it, long it's, way ahead. if anyone can do it, it's him, though. But this will bring him within 17 and a half kilos, which would mean he'd have to do Ooh, nearly 390 and take the world record. Well, let's so, see how the 370 moves. So, come on, Ian, that's your mission. You need a deadlift world record here and hope that Billy misses again. But first, we have 370. His opener was absolutely phenomenal. Oh, That's is good. it world record time for Look, Ian Bell? If I was Ian Bell and Ian and his dad, I'd be putting it on there. Yep. Your silver medal is safe. I mean, I don't think Nicky can pull enough to go after the silver. 
And if that's the case, then realistically, you've got to put it on there. Sergey Billy needs this lift because I would not bet against Ian Bell pulling 388.5. Yeah, I mean, I, w I certainly wouldn't need that. 370 moved like an absolute rocket. Now, 352.5 didn't go far for him on his second attempt, but maybe he just made a mistake and he's going to hit this hard and absolutely smoke it. He is defending his world title and he needs this pull. Oh, oh, he he's just not made it. Hold it. He's not made it. Is this going to be Ian Bell's redemption? So Billy has a 10.45 total, a world record attempt to put him in the goal. <laughs> you know you're in tough competition when you've got to pull a world record to go after the win. This is already Ian Bell's best placing. He was sub-junior world champion. He was junior world champion. Is this the day he takes the open world title and Bryce Krawcheck's deadlift world record? 388.5. There is a lot riding on this lift. This will take him to 1046, so there will just be one kilo in it. So the reason he's going one kilo over rather than half a kilo is he needs to beat the previous deadlift world record by half a kilo and here we go 388.5 world record and for the gold medal overall his second looked amazing I believe he's got this in him it's going He's locked it. He's got it there. He's going to wave the referees. Three, Three white, white lights. lights. That is a new world record. And Ian Bell is your new 105 kilo world champion as he scoops his dad up and carries him nearly off the threw platform. His, nearly threw his father over his shoulder. What a way to finish. You know you're in a tough crowd when the only way to win is to break a world record. That is a tough competition. It means everything. It means everything. I know but Bob is watching back home and they've been with me every step of the way. It means everything to have my dad here. My dad's only missed one meet and that was my first international meet and he said he'd never do it again. He'd never miss again and since then he's never missed. We've, we've talked about this moment since I was 12. This is not just a year-long process. This is not a five-year-long process. This is he visualized it for me, and this is us just following through together. Germany's Sonja Stephanie Kruger was the 2022 world champion, but she had a scare on squat, missing her first and second attempts. First year out of the juniors, she's already got open world records and open world titles, which is just crazy. And she's opening her squat with 267.5 kilos. That is a massive opener in any weight class. Really had to fight at the bottom there to get through. I think the she was suit. just down there too long. Yeah. She was trying to press into it. She was waiting for a coach to call her up and trying to press down into it. Um, but I, the number of times I've seen Kruger miss her opening squat and then absolutely oh, smoke absolutely. a world record afterwards. Sonia Stephanie Kruger missed her 67 and a half on her opener taking it again which I think is the right move yeah look I think they would have just made a few little adjustments she really struggled to get down the depth and she was down there such a long time I think that was the issue but she's had this kind of weight on her back many times will not be phased yeah she was a lot faster oh down no. the bottom there but still she got out of the bottom well let's have a look at the replay that looked like it was going to be a good spot. Let's see, let's see what happened in the midsection there. She gets down well into this one, a lot more speed. And you see the speed out. 
hips came up a little early. Yeah. I think it just came forward a bit. So Elverham is in gold medal position right now, but it all depends. In fact, the whole competition depends on what this young lady does now. Yeah, this is a make or break moment. She looks a bit fed up. She would have had a plan coming into this competition and that is long gone now. But no matter how her first two looked, I would never bet against Kruger. She's confident under that bar though, isn't she? Oh, she's had to fight hard there for Was her. that deep enough? Only the referees know. We're waiting patiently. It two was 2-1 on, on, on the board. From absolutely nowhere, straight into the gold medal position. Kruger doing Kruger things. There's never a dull moment with Kruger on the platform. She opened on a world record attempt of 195.5 kilos on bench, but it didn't go quite to plan. So here's Sonia Stephanie Kruger. She gave us a... I would, I'd normally say she gave us a bit of a fright on squat, but we've seen her do this before, so we weren't too concerned. Yeah, she was probably less concerned than we were. The current mm. world record is 195. She so has chipped to 195.5. I mean, we often say in classic lifting, it's never a great idea to open on a world record, but in a quick bench, things are a little bit different. This is quite possibly the weight that she needs to be able to touch the shirt. Now this is, um, I've just looked at the history of the record and this has never belonged to Kruger. Yeah, uh, Kruger had the... Uh, Chico took it from Tatiana Melnick. Yeah, Kruger had the lower weight class. That's right. Record for a little while. I think she's still got it. I think she has. So this is a world record attempt for Sonia Stephanie Kruger, Germany. No, she can't look it. Oh, wait. Oh, no, she's, she's still going. She's still going. She's got it back to the top. The jury says it's a good lift. And there we go. A new world record with her opening lift. To go with her squat world records in the Oh, the jury has just seven. overruled that. Oh, blue card failure. That would be a, do a downward movement, Either I would downward imagine. downward movement or lockout. Kruger has nothing on the board yet, and she will shoot into the lead if she makes this. So yeah, I think they would have just made a couple of little adjustments out the back there, get some more speed off the chest, so she doesn't have to work so hard to lock it out. So she got this to the top last time, but it was turned down for lockout, we think. Yeah, there's a bit of a double movement as she tried to lock out. The bar dipped a little. So all they need is a little bit more speed so she can follow that through. She's locked oh, yeah. it. Did it bobble again? I'm going to wait for the referees on that one. And again, same thing. And you, you're watching the replay. She doesn't really get a lot of resistance as she comes down. So she is getting speed off the chest, but she just needs a little bit more. So we are here again. Sonia Stephanie Kruger is coming out for a world record attempt with nothing on the board. Can she do it? Uh, it's going to be tough. She's used up a lot of energy on those last two because she's really fought for them. She's going to have to really dig deep for this one. She's a fighter, though, with a massive amount of experience. Only 23, 24, but been lifting for so many years. And this is not the first time she's been in this position. Yeah, that is great. <laughs> She's got it. If you see the replay on this, you will see she got Wait more resistance. Three yes. whites. Three white lights. The jury cannot and take that away. If you see the replay here, she gets a lot more resistance out of the shirt this time. She's had to fight through it a little bit. And more speed off the chest. And made all the difference and created a clean lift. Towards the end of the competition, Kruger came under pressure from deadlift specialist Marta Elverum. At 2.37.5, moved like a rocket. She did the smart thing. She didn't come out for a second, gave herself some rest, regathered some energy, replenished the fuels a little bit. 
Has she got enough? The full 261.5. Will this be Marta Eldrum's day to become world champion? She's held world records before, but she's never had an open world title. It is going to take everything she's got. And dig deep. It's going. Oh, no. and it's just not quite there. She will have to settle for the silver today. Oh, that's a real shame. And Stephanie Kruger holds on. And you know what? That chip in the end has made the difference because it forced Elvrum to go to 261.5. I'm 14 times world champion now, and I'm also two times classic world champion in the sub-juniors. Yeah. My, my biggest motivation in general is that um, even if I'm a world champion, there will always be a lifter who's stronger than me. So maybe the lifter are just stronger by relative points or have a higher body weight. Um, but I try don't set a limit, my limit at the world record and aiming for more. So yeah, maybe the world record, but I don't try to set a limit there. Three-time world champion Rhea Stin initially came under pressure from junior lifter Daria Rusinenko. So already we have barely begun the session and we have a world record on the bar, 278 kilos. So this will be a world open and junior record because she's still a junior. So the only time you can take a half kilo, a chip as we call it, is when it is a world record. Usually you have to go up in increments of two and a half kilos. Now she's a little bit late to the platform. Yeah, I would have uh, liked to have seen her out the platform a little bit earlier to not rush the setup on a lift like this, but here she comes. Being coached today by her husband, took the silver medal a couple of days ago. the referees on that one because I just feel she might have cut a little bit short but no that was she's good. in there deep enough that is a new world record for Daria Rusinenko on her second lift 78 that is massive Stin regained the advantage on bench press even after missing her opener now here is Rhea Stin only with 195 her world record in this class is 228 that's enormous isn't it nearly as much as she squatted. But she is an absolute technician on bench. Oh, there was oh, a dip. Oh, I think it dipped. Yes. It now did. this does happen on equipped bench because the bench gives you so much of the chest and you have to be underneath it in the right direction to maintain the speed. So you do see that dip quite a lot in equipped bench if you just mistime it. And our final bench in the women's session is Ray Stin, no surprise there, 202.5. And that's a bit lower than we would usually see from Rhea. Yeah, but I think it's a really great that she's lifting for her capacity at this moment. Travelled a long way from Canada. One, two, three, one. That looks good. Yeah, I think that should be okay. It is three whites. So that gives Rhea Stin the gold medal on bench press and the lead in the competition, but it is close. Here's Rhea Stin. Can she put it out of reach for the young Ukrainian? Yeah, look, I think if she puts this one on, I think she really does put it out of reach, going by Lusinenko's last lift. Yeah, I think so too. She's going to want to get this on the board. 
and that's why she's the three-time back-to-back world champion. Very nearly got a smile out of Rhinestone there. <laughs> Very nearly. The 120 kilo class lifted on day five of the competition and they had a great fight over the squat world record. Next up, we have a world record attempt. Sen Yang is going to try to add seven kilos to his own squat world record. Yeah, look, I think he's got a really solid plan here. I think his plan is squat is my strength. I'm going to get as many kilos as yep. I can here, and then I don't have to go as hard on the deadlift. I don't have to rely on that to win. And we've got left one lonely blue plate in the rack. <laughs> he better not get too much stronger. We won't have enough plates oh, for him. To bring in a second set. That is a beautiful picture, all those are loco plates. No one else has ever held this record. That <laughs> was rocket fast, but, but not, not deep, deep enough. enough. But you know, he is so strong, he can come out and do that again, but I'd put 448 on. Yeah, the I would, I would definitely problem. go the chip on that next one. The jury has it's overruled it. It's He's got the 447.5. For his wow. plan sticks. It's good company to be in if you've got to break a world record to get a gold medal in squats. So, what's the most we've seen in Doom competition? 4.15. Well, he's blown past that today, hasn't he? He certainly has. So, this will break the world record that was just set. And it'll be a European record as well. Of course, he was a 105 up until this year. Of course, he's in the 120s, so he's obviously his body weight's gone up. He's filled out the class well, 119.25. He really has, hasn't he? He's not just in the 120s, he's really a 120. But could he be the man to take a squat world record from Sen Yang? <laughs> wow! Well. I'm going to wait for the referee's decision. I think he probably could have put 500 on there. Three white. And it's a new world record for Daniel Ocavallo. 448. We're only 52 kilos away from half a ton. And that was nowhere near his max. There wow. is a lot more to come. He's really enjoying being in the 120s. He really is. This, this weight class suits him. However, here comes Sen Yang. Yeah, so this will be world record and he'll set the Asian record as well. It's not too far from, look at the bend on that bar. 452.5, the way 447 and a half move. Absolutely. I, don't really have any doubt about this strength wise he's just got to put it all together get his technique right make sure of depth <laughs> my oh my gosh word. that's strong that is out of this world, takes the world record, 4.52 and a half. And Unbelievable finish to the squats. I, I just can't believe what I've seen. This is just amazing. And, and both there is Kovalov and Yang are nowhere near their top they end. They have got kilos upon kilos left in them. In the end, Alexei Bichkov defended his world title with this superb 375 kilo deadlift. Final deadlift in round two. Can only be one man, Alexei Bichkov. 375 on the bar. Look at all those red plates. This will put him back in first. And 15 kilos ahead of Yang. That's put everyone on notice, hasn't it? Do what yeah. you want, I'm just gonna wait for you. I'm interested to see the changes in the last round from Yang, whether he 
feels he can go after it or not. The 84 plus class lifted on the final day of competition and there was a head-to-head -head battle from the start. So Kate Sweatman's out next. Um, we spoke about her biggest squat, you said, in, in international com competition, competition 215. But wow. I've remembered, I saw it live, she actually squatted 250.5 at the British Equipped in February. So it wasn't but that... that certainly makes the 250 opener a little bit more yeah, realistic. Yeah, it, it wasn't such a wild punt. So this is 260, now this will be more than any British woman has squatted uh, in British powerlifting on the platform before. British record on the line. Well, she's having no problem moving that weight at all. Three whites. And two lifts in. She will be triumphant. That's a new British record. Dips in into the bottom and fires it back up. There's Deuten out from Iceland. 270. It's a big, big lift and not even hitting her best lift yet. been around for a couple of days she looks good she looks rested oh that's a bit tough through the midsection there but she's got it on the board probably a little bit tougher than she wanted that to be for a second but with equipped lifting, it's quite likely that she just mistimed it a little. Yeah, you can see she might have been a little bit out of position on the way back up. And we go to 270. Katharina Swipman. 270 kilos. A huge, huge lift. 260 moved well. Good walk out. Oh, she's having to work so hard for it. She's got it to the top. Has she done enough? She has three whites. Great effort and great fight there. Holly Jonsdöter from Iceland is looking to take 277 and a half. And that will put her into the gold medal position and Zaharuka back into silver. So if she gets this, she's gold medal in squat. If she misses it, she's silver medal in squat. And it is not a huge stretch. It is only seven and a half kilos more than a second lift. And it moved just as well as her other two. Three whites, she takes the gold medal in squats for Zaharico in silver and Sweatman in bronze for the squats. Sweatman moved into the lead on bench when Jons Dottir missed her opener. Surely Jons Dottir, Iceland for 180. Now she took the gold medal on squat with 277 and a half, but she's giving away 30 kilos on her opener to Kate Sweatman. Yeah, her bench isn't her biggest lift. 
and we're saying that about a 180 yeah. bench. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it's a bit misleading, isn't it? So this is going to be a lot tighter than we thought. Kate Sweatman is right up there. She is, uh, she was seven and a half kilos behind on squat, but she is 30 kilos ahead on bench openers anyway. But she does give a lot away on the deadlift. So this is going to go round and round, I think. She's having to really, oh, really hard. pull that through. Yeah, that yeah. difficult touch made it really hard. I wonder if the current PB is 185. Very hard it's pull hard down. It's hard to know what to do now. Would you release the shirt a little bit, put more weight on it? Yeah, it's a really tough call here. Now, Kate Sweatman is in the lead already without this bench, and she's looking to add 10 kilos to that. She is a fair way out ahead of Jons Dottir, but of course has doesn't have as big a deadlift. She's done 215 in a three lift competition, in a, in a single lift competition. This will be a PB and new British record. Boy, their lifts have been going really well, haven't they? Yeah, really amazing. Her squats were incredible. I think that's good. Yeah, that looks good from this side. Very white it is. She gets a um, nice light touch on she doesn't pull yeah, it down Yeah, she's, um, she's really well set up for bench press, so it's quite a short stroke. So here we go, a world record is on the bar for Kate Sweatman of the UK. 230.5 kilos this as a bench huge. press. And if she gets this, she's going to be hard to catch. Yeah, these are these are kilos that are going to be very difficult to catch up on again. I mean, this will if she gets this on, that adds 20.5 kilos to her originally projected total. Uh, and you know, to add that much on a bench is a huge advantage. But she's a top bencher. Think it's going, it was it's going not. but do you know what? That's not far away to even get that off the yeah, chest. That is it's quite an achievement. Very, very close to breaking that world record. It is not far away. So she is now in projected because the deadlifts are very different. She is 10 kilos ahead of Jons Dottir. We are through to the pointy end of the competition deadlifts. And here's where we stand with Kate Sweatman a long way out in front on 490, John Stottier on 457.5 and Zaharuko on 425. But we know that uh, John Stottier's deadlift is much bigger than Kate's, so we are going to see these uh, positions reverse. Here is the lady in the lead, Kate Sweatman, Great Britain, opening her deadlift with 167.5. Yeah, look, I think she's been really smart today. She's played to her strength. She's got a great squat. She's got a fantastic bench. She put as many kilos on as she could there, knowing that her deadlift was not as big as some of the others, and she'd have work to do. Oh, wow. And it was oh, no. very awkward, wasn't it? No, she's okay, just a little slip there. Yeah, you're putting so much <laughs> backward energy into that bar. If it flies out of your hand, you fly into the direction. She's like the smile after running off there. So here is Kate Sweatman. If she doesn't pull this, then she doesn't go past. Yeah, she has to put this one on. It's her job to get ahead, and then it's the other lifter's job to get past again. She's done more weight than this. She's done 192. I think she's 185 at the British Equipped. She's got it within her. If she can just hit it right. And I think she's just hit it right. It looks good. 
It is. She's it's done really everything right, right. she can Kate do. Sweatman. She is in the lead in the World Championship with one possibility of someone coming past. Okay, here we go. This is it. Will it be Kate Sweatman? Will it be Shirley John Stuttier? 2.12 and a half on the bar. Well, it all comes down to this lift, doesn't it? The pressure of the moment. I know she can do more than this. I'm not convinced by her second lift, though. She did a massive squat. She struggled on bench. She's done everything she can do. She wanted this today. She was the favourite coming in, but she has been heavily challenged by Kate Sweatman. No, it's not there. No, I don't, I don't think it is. I don't think it will pass. Two Kate Sweatman lights. is your new super heavyweight world champion. What an outcome. Once I'd got a couple of benches in, I started to feel actually this is going to be really close. It could be really exciting. Obviously, I knew everything rode on that last deadlift. So it's a tough one, isn't it? Because you're emotional for yourself, but you're emotional for your friend as well. I didn't want to see her fail, but I knew the possibility that if she did, then I could win it. It's not there. No, uh, I don't think I it don't is. I don't think it would pass. It was just overwhelming. It was so unexpected. Just overwhelmed by the whole thing, really. In the men's super heavyweight class, last year's world champion, Andrei Shevchenko, could not get a bench press past, and he dropped out of the competition. USA's Joe Caplino made great use of the opportunity and secured his first world championship win with a 335 kilo deadlift. Well, uh, anything can happen. We've seen yeah, so look, David Grimble put a happen. huge amount on his last deadlift to win. So I'm not going to crown Joe Cap world champion no. until I all the lifts are in. I would think he's far enough ahead, but you know what? We've seen amazing things happen when someone gets a sniff of a gold medal. That is a fine way to finish your competition. Does he get the three whites? He does. He's done everything he can do. All he can do now is wait. Last year, I really felt like I was the strongest lifter. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to execute. And I wanted that to be my last competition. But I didn't like the way it ended for me last year. So, um, you know, I just figured just give it one more go. A after bench press, unfortunately, the Ukrainian lifter had missed all his attempts and I was able to just lower my deadlift opener to just uh, pace ahead of the lifter from Costa Rica. And I just kept telling myself, this is the best chance you're ever gonna get. <laughs> so don't mess this up. But you know, it's world championships. You can't worry about what's on the bar. So I just had confidence and I just tried to think about where to put my hands, what to do with my hips, where to put my eyes and just pull. That is a fine way to finish your competition. My lifts were down, but I just stayed in my own head. I just stayed present in the moment and just kept lifting. So I won't be back for lifting, but probably for coaching because I have so many great friends here. That's all from us this time. We will be back here in Lithuania for the 2024 World Classic Powerlifting Championships. See you then.